I have been contemplating whether to do a spoiler video again for 8 tale of thousand stars and since I've already binge watch all the available episodes of the said series, I can say that this show is indeed a true masterpiece in any form of art. The series and the novel are both different media but the two are connected with one another. Both the novel and the series are equally good and just as I said, a masterpiece on their own. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you my thoughts about the series, some differences and similarities of both media, and of course a little bit of spoilers for the next episode. This is actually kinda late since the episode 7 will air tonight but let's just do it. Anyway, if you live in a different country and some DL series are not available to yours, you can use ExpressVPN to watch those restricted series. Use the link on the description below to have 49% discount and 3 months free if you opt to avail the 12 month plan. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. If there's a difference between the current episode and the novel, there was actually no discussion of fragrant tea sachet in the book. In the series, after the confrontation between the goons of Mr. Sackner and Tian in the plantation, the villagers were having a problem on how they could sell their tea leaves in the market without dealing with Mr. Sackner and his henchmen. To solve their problems, Tian got an idea to make fragrant tea sachets and sell it to the vendors in the public market. In the book, such problem wasn't mentioned at all and their lives just went with it afterwards. It was actually a pretty good idea in the series to have it like that because it wasn't addressed in the novel. This additional scene might happen just because of some changes they did for the series. One thing that's entirely different between the novel and the series is the condition of Tian. In the series, we always got to see Tian being unconscious in almost every episode but that didn't seem to be the same in the book. In episode 5, we have seen Tian suddenly knocked out while running and playing with his kite. That was because of his heart condition. But in the novel, Tian seemed fine with all the things he did and looked like that he did not go a heart transplant surgery a couple of months ago. The scene in the series could be an added drama to the show or it could be a scientific way to show how a person who underwent a heart transplant could be in danger at all times. Either way, both the book and the series showed us a different approach. If there's someone that makes Pooper jealous in the series, that is Long Tae, the son of the village's leader. That is actually a good way to show the feelings of Pooper gradually radiating on his aura in the series. But in the book, Long Tae was not introduced until the school in Pandao was burned down. Long Tae actually played a major role in the climax, especially in the Ghost Hill scene. That could happen in the next few episodes or probably in episode 8 or 9. I'm not sure though if they would include that scene but that major turning point to the story of Poopa and Tian and the book. In the series, at the beginning, it was implied that Tian got a little bit of jealousy to Torfin because of her relationship with the villagers and of course, Poopa. But in the book, it only happened once and Tian got more jealous with Dr. Nam because of his closeness to Poopa. He thought that the doctor had something with Poopa romantically because Poopa always thinks of the doctor. It only subsided when Dr. Nam admitted that he got a girlfriend and Poopa is only his friend. But Tian was not convinced yet because even if Dr. Nam was not attracted to Poopa, he was not sure about the feelings of Poopa towards the doctor. By then, Tian already knew that Poopa is gay. If there's one person we would want to avoid both in the book and in the series, that should be Mr. Sackner. His appearance was actually changed in the series compared to the book. In the novel, Mr. Sackner was introduced when the confrontation in the plantation happened. 
He was actually with his goons on that day but he wasn't present when that scene happened in the series. The show actually made him more of a mysterious evil guy rather than a straightforward evil character. He was not mentioned that much in the book but it could change drastically in the series. If I could describe this BL in one word, that would be masterpiece. I have never been so much attached to the characters in a series like this before and I can say that this show is something different among any other shows. A Tale of Thousand Stars isn't only a BL which got two persons being romantically in love with each other rather, an eye opener for every one of us in the society. Truly, our happiness won't depend on the material things we have in this planet but what our hearts really want. The joy that we could experience when we sacrifice ourselves for the less fortunate is something that we could never attain through worldly things. To understand something, we should become part of it and embrace it with all our hearts. I already said a lot so let's now begin with our spoilers. In the novel, when Tian and the villagers saw that the school was burning down, they quickly went to try salvage the things that was inside the school. Unfortunately, they could not extinguish the fire because the water source is far from the location of the burning school. Tian, who saw the burning school with his own eyes, felt that his memories with it are being erased from his mind. When Tian couldn't handle what he is seeing, he tried to charge inside the burning school but was immediately restrained by Captain Pooper using his strong arms. Just like what he saw. His heart was also burning. He wanted to break free from the strong arms of the captain and started shouting that they should save his school. A couple of minutes later, a rain started to fall from the sky. The villagers tried to stop the remaining fire. After the incident, Tian already knew who was the person behind it. It was Mr. Sagda. Tian was so furious just by thinking the evil doings of the man. Not long after, Tian sighted some border patrols who were responsible for hunting down the criminals. They immediately caught the criminals because of some evidences from their houses, who were only in the nearby village. The three men happened to be the goons of Mr. Sakda and one of them was the person that Tian punched during the confrontation in the plantation. Tian saw the criminals and immediately charged to them with a punch. He was suppressed by Captain Pooper because the former was ready to kill them all. After a while, Tian collapsed due to a high fever. Because of that, Captain Pooper brought Tian to their base. As we can see in the series, Tian would be spending some of his days to Pooper's home because of the threat but it was different in the novel. It might be a different approach but the outcome will be the same. Another scene in the series, there was an upcoming scene where Pooper and Tian was about to kiss. But in the novel, the two were actually talking about the job of Pooper and its danger. Pooper even said that he got nothing to worry about because his parents were already dead. But Poopa also added and said to Tian that if the reason of Tian to be in the village is because he is there to care for him, then Poopa promised to him that he would take better care of himself. Then, Poopa kissed Tian in the forehead while the latter had his eyes closed. There are a lot of differences between the novel and the series but I'm loving them equally. Both are masterpieces and should be adored by many. I hope that the series would become even more popular because it deserves the hype it gets for the last two years. What do you think of this BL? Thank you for watching. That's it and see you on the next one.